Magenta, Google's research project that looks at how AI can help people become more creative, has just launched an experimental open-source instrument called NSYNTH Super. NSYNTH Super uses NSYNTH from Magenta, Google's neural network that generates sounds, and instructions to build your own Super NSYNTH are available from GDub. The NSYNTH Super is a piece of hardware that brings NSYNTH technology to life. As Douglas Eck, a research scientist in the Google Brain team, says in the video above, NSYNTH does not generate notes, but the real sound of an instrument. The NSYNTH algorithm learns the basic qualities of what constitutes an individual sound and can then combine sounds to create something completely new. The hardware that Google has designed to play with the NSYNTH algorithm has a central X-slash-Y pad in which each quadrant can be assigned an instrument something like using effects in a pad case. These instruments can be mixed by sliding your finger across the pad. What is particularly unique is that NSYNTH Super is not just superimposing sounds on top of each other. Rather, it is synthesizing a completely new sound based on the acoustic qualities of the individual instruments. This gives some unexpected results. In the previous demo video, mixing a flute in a box makes the sound glassy and almost clear, without any open drum quality. The NSYNTH Super has some parallels to the German-made Hartmann Neuron, a polyphonic synthesizer produced between 2002 and 2005 that analyzes and creates sound models that can be controlled in various ways. Finally, although the idea was novel and the synthesizer created otherworldly noises, it was quite expensive and not at all easy to use.